I'm Greg Dotman. I'm an astronomer at the Keck Observatory. Welcome to Earth. It's our beautiful home planet in the solar system. Earth is the third planet from the Sun, and it is the largest of the four terrestrial or rocky planets in our solar system. It's 93 million miles from the Sun, and with its nourishing atmosphere, this puts the Earth in the Goldilocks zone, such that it is not too hot or not too cold, but just right for water to exist as a liquid on its surface. And this is a key planetary trait that astronomers look for in solar systems orbiting other stars when searching for planets that might harbor life. The Earth has a powerful magnetic field, which protects us from harmful energy that can come from the Sun. The magnetic field lines that surround the Earth can steer charged particles away from hitting the Earth's surface and redirect them to the north and south polar areas where they collide with molecules in the upper atmosphere lighting up the night sky with dancing colors, pinks, greens, yellows, blues, violets, and oranges. If you travel to northern places like Alaska or Canada, you may get to see the aurora borealis, also called the northern lights. Earth has just one moon orbiting it every 27 days. The moon is about a quarter of the size of the Earth itself, which makes it the largest moon relative to the size of its host planet of any in the solar system. The moon is tidally locked to the Earth, which means that it always shows the same side to us as it orbits around the Earth, though that Earth-facing side gets illuminated by the sun in different amounts throughout the lunar month, which is how we see its different phases, such as crescent, half moon, full moon. The moon's gravitational pull with its orbital motion is responsible for our ocean tides on the Earth. And this pull is actually slowing down the Earth's rotation, making our Earth day a tiny bit longer, about two thousandths of a second longer every century. Turns out that the angular size of the moon and the sun are about the same. That's about half a degree on the sky. Because of this, there are special times in the lunar orbit where the moon passes exactly in front of the sun, causing a solar eclipse, just like the one three years ago that you might have seen if you'd traveled to the mainland that August. There are other special times in the lunar orbit where the moon moves exactly into the shadow cast by the Earth from the sun, causing a lunar eclipse. When this happens, the bright full moon goes mostly dark for about two hours. One of the most precious things about the Earth is its rich atmosphere, which allows us to breathe and live comfortably on its surface. Anywhere else in the solar system, and you would need a serious spacesuit in order to go outside. Thank you for visiting planet Earth. Now get your spacesuit ready as you travel to the next planet in your tour, Mars. Eia o honua, he hoku hele kino paa o honua, ho o kahi mahina o honua, o ikea nei, o honua vale no kahi i loa a ka vai kino vai. Mahalo ya oi i ho olohe ana mai, ahui ho e honua, e kipa kako o hoku ula.